Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our urban worm bag that has the European night crawlers in it. Now, it's been 28 days since my last update, which is about what I'm looking for. You know, max of 30, really maybe around that 14 as a minimum. And we're going to add another 6 pounds, 15 ounces of food. Now, this is a little bit smaller, I think, than some of the other ones that I've done, which have been like up to 8 pounds in the past. But... You know what? This is, I think, a decent sized feeding. I'm trying to increase how often I check on my systems. I know I haven't been very good at that, as 28 days of right now, but I'm going to try to as we get into these summer months here, especially as things start winding down for me with my kids and everything. So with that, let's take a look at the system, see how it's doing, see how the worms are. I know we're also getting at around that time for harvest. It's um, been a drought here, kind of, so I really don't want to add a whole bunch of compost outside because it's just going to dry out and not do very well. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer to harvest. I'm hoping we get into a, like a little bit more of a wet season coming up maybe in you know, late mid mid to late June to early July. Sometimes we get some rain. We'll see how it goes. But with that, I'm not going to harvest yet because I do kind of want to wait till it rains a little bit. So let's take a look at the system and see how it's doing. All right, here is our urban worm bag system. Let's go ahead and open this up and see how these guys are doing in here. First off, I already see some poking, poking, for, poking around on the surface a little bit. We've got a little bit of moisture buildup on this lid here. That's not a bad thing. It shows that there's plenty of moisture in here. I'm not seeing any fruit flies, which is a good sign. We've got our little fruit fly trap over here anyhow, just in case. So actually, hold on, I'm gonna grab my glove here. Looks like there's some worms stuck on the side. I don't wanna have them, as I take this out of here, I don't wanna have them go all over the place. So we're just gonna kinda of clean this off a little bit. Doesn't look like there's much in here. It looks fairly fresh still. Still has a brown color to it instead of a really, really dark black. So I'll put that off to the side. And as you can see, I've got some sprouts in here. Look at this. These are probably some pepper plants that are growing. I've got a whole bunch right here in the center. I've got some more over here and some more over here. So you can see we've got a, quite a few pepper plants here growing. So if you're looking to grow stuff, you can start You can start your plants in here, you know, if, if you want to. So I did see some worms. In fact, there's one right here on the surface already. So you can see they're really actively looking for food in here. And uh, this system looks pretty good. This, the top doesn't look very touched. I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more um, broken down than this. Let's see, it looks like a fruit fly or something over here, but okay. I'm not seeing anything flying, so nothing, nothing too bad. There's another pepper plant right there growing. All right, so let's just go ahead and flip this over, and we see our first thing that's still here, or two things really. Here's a piece of a coffee grounds bag, and here's an avocado pit. These things take forever to break down, so I'm not surprised this is still in here. We've got, um, oh, this is that cheesecloth. That's right. I had thrown in a piece of cheesecloth in here that had a ton of lemon in it. Look at this. They're working right through this cheesecloth here. Um, I'd made uh, some, was it, Cuban or Brazilian Brazilian lemonade, which uses limes. Um, and I think some people call it Brazilian limeade, but it had a, a basically you, you grind them up and then you put them in a, a cheesecloth and strain it out that way. So I did that and I threw the cheesecloth in here too. So lots of, just a lot of cardboard, more cardboard than I thought in here, but they're, they sort of slow down. Here we go, here's a pile of worms right here. It looks like they're working on this, maybe an apple here since the seeds are still there. Still a little bit left right there, but not a whole lot. So let's just keep going here, peeling this back a little bit. Just gonna move this over here along with that avocado seed. Just slowly peel some of this cardboard back. I'm trying to keep the cardboard on top and intact. Looks like we've got a piece of a banana right there. Let's just dig in here a little bit. Okay. You can see it's a little dry down there towards the bottom, but it looks like the worms are fairly healthy here. Let's just zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Worms still look pretty healthy. Not as many of them. I thought they'd really be teeming around on the surface here. Got a lot of cardboard buildup in here that they seem to be slowing down on taking care of. So we might be, we might need to lower the amount of cardboard we're putting in here a little bit. It looks like they're having some trouble working through it as they slow down a little bit, or maybe the microbial activity has just also slowed down a little bit here too. So we got a corn cob over here. Again, more cardboard. Looks like they really didn't move through that last layer. So we're gonna have to see if we can help speed them up a little bit. Let's go ahead and move this back to the other side now and check out what's going on over here. Now, as I said, we're not going to slow down on this thing with feeding. I'm still going to add a ton of food this time. We're, the food's already been determined how much we're adding. So 
We've got more coffee grounds over here. These things sometimes are a little bit wrapped up and can be hard to get into. Oh, this is a lime right here. And look at that. We can squeeze this open right now. I think it's a lime. It's a lime or a clementine or something. But there we go. That's open now, so they can get into that. The, the peel was sort of keeping them out of it. And actually, I can smell it. It's definitely a lime. <laughs> it smells good, though. So... You can see though they're they're working through this but they're taking their time they're not moving quite as quick as they were a while ago i think that long break in between feedings of 40 days just sort of slowed everything down in here and they're sort of coming back now they're sort of repopulating they're they're looking for things to eat again so it take, can take some time to to bring stuff back when you've waited a while like i'm not seeing any pepper plants over here or anything I mean, like it looks like they're doing a decent job there's more on this side definitely than on that side but again let's just Dig over here real quick. Anything over here? Oh, we got another corn cob over here. But yeah, so they're working on it. But most of the food's gone. There's a few things left. Some coffee grounds, especially like this bag right here. We've got a couple coffee ground bags, and I'm sure we're going to add more of those. But there we go. So that's that's what's going on there. Now I am going to add something new to this system, and I'm going to start adding this to a lot of my systems. This is something I bought a while ago, and it's called activated charcoal or biochar, I guess. But what I have found is this stuff has been sitting in a plastic bag, which means it's probably not actually active anymore. So we're gonna spread, sprinkle some of this in here, just all along the surface here, and then we'll harvest it from the bottom. Now this should stay in my soil technically a long time, if not um, almost like a thousand years, they're saying, or something like that. And this is really a way to sequester carbon, but also it's great for your soil, apparently. And my soil is, well, it's, it's really poor soil. It's really bad, in fact. It's, uh, it's really poor soil. So I'm going to start adding this, just a layer like this on top of stuff, and try to get this active, you know, activated again. I'll add a link below to this one. I don't know if it's in stock anymore. I ordered it a while ago. It's been sitting in my basement a long time. Um, I meant to put it on my yard last year, and it just didn't happen. But I also got worried that, you know, when I, when I got the bag, it was just a plastic, sealed plastic bag. I can't imagine that this is alive in any way. But I do like the size granules that it has, where it's sort of like, you know, charcoal like that, where it just sort of rolls around and can easily fall into the holes. But apparently, this is really good for your soil, from everything I've heard. I am going to try making it later, and maybe I'll make a video on that as well. But for right now, let's get our food. Now that the worms have had a chance to settle in... I'm just going to bang this on here to loosen it up. And we're going to go ahead and add our first thing of food. There we go. And this is a this is a smaller thing compared to the other one, but we've got some asparagus, banana peels. We oh, a tomato found its way in here. I normally don't throw tomatoes on my bins very often cuz they they do tend to grow. We've got some pears, got coffee grounds of course, and some tea. So I'm going to rip this open a little bit more. And by the way, this is all frozen right now, so it is pretty hard as far as the way it is right now. There we go. That's a little bit open at least. That way they can hopefully get into it. We've got another thing of coffee grounds right here. Avocado peel. I was hoping I could break that, but this one's actually a little bit more malleable. Normally these things are so brittle when they're frozen, but not this one apparently. But they'll get in there. We've got some lemons again. Apple got this was starting to mold over believe it or not for some reason my food that when i keep it in my container after like a day it's starting to get, grow mold and as you can see here looks like there's some black mold on here which i don't think is good mold necessarily but i'm not really worried the worms will take care of it but looks like there's a clementine peel on there and some other stuff but that's frozen solid um, avocado again ah, this one was able to break apart there we go as i said the asparagus another pear there's some tea grounds over here. Yeah, that one I'm not going to be able to break apart. That one's a little bit too thick. We had a couple avocados that I know that we bought that were just not very good uh, when we opened them up. So there we go. There's the first container. And the second container is a lot heavier. And a lot more green stuff in here. There we go. See, look at that. A lot more stuff in this one. Hold on. There we go. So this one, we've got, it looks like the strawberries, some more asparagus, you can tell there's a lot more in here, apple, pear, asparagus, carrots, we've got lots of carrots in here too, 
coffee grounds. Just trying to spread this out a little bit over the surface here. We've got a mango seed. Those take a long time to break down too. Ah, oh, man. This is really frozen in the center here. I know that I've been adding a little bit more water lately as I've been trying to get more, especially when making tea, some of it gets stuck in the containers. So I've been dumping a little bit extra water in there to get it out rather than just throw the tea leaves down the, the garbage disposal or into the trash. So we got another mango seed right here with mango, peels on it, banana. Ah, there we go. More coffee grounds, another pear, full strawberry over here. Oh, by the way, there's also some Brussels sprouts in there. Looks like this is primarily carrot though now. And coffee grounds. Just trying to break this apart, spread things out. At some point I should get my shredder back out again that I was using to break this apart a little bit more. There we go. Just throw it in there when it's frozen and just grind it up. All right. So that looks like a nice large feeding right there. Spread everything out a little bit. Make sure everything's touching the soil. Yep, we're good. All right, now we're going to add our crushed crab and eggshell. I've got my mask on. Always wear a mask when you're doing this. This is going to add that grip for the worms. It's going to kind of balance the pH in there. And we're going to add a lot this time because of the... Uh, the fact that we've got the lemon that we just broke open in there. Remember, as I said, I've got an N95 mask on. You should always wear a mask when you're doing this. Put a lot on this time. There we go. That's that entire container. That's good. Actually, you know what? We're just going to throw a little bit more back to activated charcoal in here. Just a little bit more. Just kind of balance it out on top. I've got plenty of this stuff. I bought a huge bag of it, so I'm not too worried about it. And now we're going to add our cardboard. So... Go ahead and grab that. It's stuck in here. Some of it's a little bit dry, even though I added a lot of water in here. I think it's not enough for this amount of cardboard, but that's okay. There was some moisture on the lid, so that means there was moisture in here. And here we go. Make sure everything's sort of covered a little bit. A little bit of water ran out there still. All right. We're looking pretty good here. We just go ahead and scrape out the last of this cardboard in the container here. And then we'll be good to go to shut this up and let it sit for another 14 to 21 days. As I said, I think, I think the fact that I slowed down in feeding, the worms sort of slowed down with it. They're not going to overwhelm... They don't want to overwhelm their container if there's not enough food for them, so they're going to slow down. So I need to speed them back up again. And there we go. That is everything. Oh, wait, hold on. I've got to put my little trap back in here. Let me put that back in that corner right there. So let's back up here a little bit. As you can see, this entire thing is filled. Hopefully everything was in view of the camera. I didn't realize how much I was zoomed in. But, like, there we go. Everything is good to go. And I think we're ready to close this up and call it a day. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below and I'll try to get back to you. In the meantime, keep composting and I hope to see you on my... Whoop, little spider there. Hope to see you the next time I make a video. Thank you for watching.